Some 80,000 people in Idaho care for someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. Today, the Alzheimer's associations across the country picked this the longest day of the year to honor people caring for Alzheimer's patients. Our own Jay Bates, formerly a reporter and of course on our morning anchor here at, at Six on Your Side was at Touchmark in Meridian to honor his father that passed away in March and to kick off the festivities. Ian McCready reports. It was a day to honor those who care for loved ones with Alzheimer's. The Alzheimer's Association says every day caring for someone with Alzheimer's is like a longest day of the year. Roger Baker moved his mother into assisted living 13 years ago. And even at this late date, there are many unknowns for both of them. When I started this journey, I had no idea what the steps were going to be. And I had no idea what this season of the journey was going to be like. Across the U.S. and from sunup to sundown, people are working towards a world where secured but comfortable facilities like this one won't be needed. Where seniors would be perhaps just outside, enjoying the sun. A day which, in the real world, cannot arrive soon enough. Yesterday was a little rough on me. That was my first Father's Day without a father. But in many ways it wasn't, because our family struggled with really not having him for the past 10 years. Jay's experience inspired him to help fight the disease and make things better for those who care for people with Alzheimer's, a progressive, unstoppable disease. People with, with Alzheimer's or dementia, they're still your, your spouse, your loved one, your brother, your sister and you're going to lose a little bit of them every day and it'll be the hardest thing you've ever had to be a part of and cherishing those moments that you will get is probably the most important advice that I can give to anyone. And to those who have yet to be introduced to Alzheimer's, a word of advice from someone who's been there, don't go it alone, ask for help. You become as much of a health risk as they are. It can, it will you know, in some cases it will literally kill the person that's trying to take care of someone else if you try to take that entire burden on yourself. As glimpses of the person they knew become all too few, love remains through the challenges, the fuel that supports patient and caregiver alike, all the way through. Ian McGrady, Six on Your Side.